Now, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Three, three minute rounds. The women's featherweight division. This fight brought to you by Anytime Fitness. Introducing first the fighter on my left, fighting out the red corner. She stands five foot four inches tall, weighted at 135 pounds, has a record of zero wins and one defeat. Fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, Juanita Shingo. And now her opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, standing five foot seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds tonight, making her MMA debut, fighting out of St. Cloud, Minnesota, Shaylin O'Connor. And the referee when the action begins, Greg Evenson. Right here we go, folks. And right out of the gate here, Shane O'Connor. Bobbing and weaving here as Juanita Shingo misses with the head kick. And we have ourselves quite the mound here early on here at Fury Fights in Watertown. As Shane O'Connor working the clinch. in the pace. Dirty boxing from the inside for both of them. O'Connor up against the fence. Shailen keeps throwing those knees. They don't seem to be doing much from the angle that they're at not much power behind them. More so seems as an attempt to look active. Absolutely. Really like to see Juanita go in down right now. I think she's in a good position to grit it. We're having some technical difficulties, folks. Uh, Cyrus will be back on with us in just a few moments. Our audio guys, let me, let me take it. Let me just go. As you can see, great work there right out of the gate. Juanita Shingles working that clinch up into the corner. Shaylin O'Connor, of course, making her debut. It is not going to be an easy time out here against uh, a fighter that's already been down this road, has made her debut. Unfortunately, took a loss, but now looking to rebound and looking strong as she goes for that takedown. She throws it out. And there's a fantastic takedown by Juanita Shingles, the fighter out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. As she uh, gets in there on side control on Shaylin O'Connor. And uh, we're going to welcome back Dean Lamb. And uh, Juanita Shingles looking strong here. Shaylin O'Connor out of Panda Tribe BJJ in St. Cloud, Minnesota, underneath Matt Legoo. I would expect her to be able to get into a dominant position here, if even from full guard. Yeah, having a hard time here as Juanita Shingles continues to really put the pressure on here. Nice right hands as we look to close out and this first round. Are we going to get out of round one? Saved by the bell for Absolutely. Shaylin. So, uh, <clears throat> no surprise, Dean. The crowd loving the ladies inside of the cage. We always get a great response here. And Fury fights no different here in Watertown. And uh, what do you make of that first round here? Uh, Juanita Shingles looking very strong. Yeah, I think Juanita definitely took the round 10-9, uh, uh, no doubt about it. She controlled Shaylin against the fence for most of the round, scored the takedown, and then I believe Shaylin only escaped the round because of the bell. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Uh, you know, and I think just that one fight experience from Juanita Shingles really, really helps her here, man. It, there's a lot of butterflies. You've been down this road before. You've made your debut before. You can only imagine, you know, I mean, what's going through the head of these fighters right now, especially Shaylin O'Connor. First time to be locked inside of this cage. 
throwing down with another human being here in front of this awesome crowd here in Watertown. Uh, you can tell that she's really feeling it in there. It's definitely a lot to take in. Well, we are absolutely glad to have you here on MMAFutures.live, MMAFutures.com as we continue this one. Big swing and a miss there by Shingles as she's looking to capitalize on the momentum. And O'Connor doing a great job of tying up here. Another takedown by Shingles. Nice trip. Just fantastic work there by Juanita Shingles. You know, Juanita comes in with a decorated uh, Muay Thai and kickboxing background. She's had several fights prior to her the start of her MMA career. Yep, fantastic tonight here in Watertown here at Studio 212, 212. Awesome concerts here. We are glad to bring MMA back to Watertown, man. What a historic moment. It's been over three years over three since years. there has been MMA in this city, and uh, they really came out tonight. Fury fights operated in Watertown, uh, North Dakota, Sioux City, all throughout Iowa uh, and South Dakota for many years, from 2005 to 2018. Wow. Uh, in 2018, Mike Alamo shut it down to pursue other things in life and recently sold the company to Baron Yexley, who has uh, revitalized the Fury Fights brand. Yeah, no, he really has, and a big shout out, uh, you know, to, to the past and then now, you know, the present of Fury Fights here, and uh, we're glad to be here. And our as best wishes with uh, Mike Alamo right now. As well, how about this? Shayla O'Connor's got that arm right now. She I, may have something here. No, I, I think Juanita will find her way out of this, to be honest. I she really should do. have enough time to, but it looks like she's still in trouble. Stepping over. Well she's done by out. Juanita Shingles. There we go. You know, there but hey, that's, that's a momentum booster. That's a confidence booster for Shayla O'Connor. She just, needed that tonight. It just didn't look like it was in form yeah. from the very beginning. Certainly not where it needed to be. And now Juanita Shingles looking to capitalize. Uh, big shout out to all of the incredible sponsors here as well here at Fury Fights. And uh, Juanita Shingles here in that half guard trying to work on Shaylin O'Connor. You talked about the training of Shaylin O'Connor and, and her gym out of St. Cloud, Minnesota. Uh, expound on that just a little bit more, Dean, just to kind of give everybody a little background on Shaylin. Yeah, she trains under Matt Lagoo, uh, who came up underneath uh, Brock Larson briefly, Minnesota legend. Yeah, I mean, and then pretty he, decent, pretty decent guy. Yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely a decent guy. And then he uh, moved out to Vegas, and he trained at the uh, Vanderlei Silva gym yeah. out there in Vegas, uh, which a couple of his students, Annabelle Kelly, is out there right now in Vegas as a student at UNLV and training at Vons gym you know i've been out there a little bit myself lately you have, i don't know if you noticed that yeah, I don't know if you saw yeah it. i've only <laughs> seen you on espn for the last two weeks so <laughs> well, hopefully know, we can keep that rolling no a little big bit deal. yeah no I mean, we don't have to keep bringing it up or anything hey round number two is in the books here as juanita shingles ends up on top well i mean I, i'm very impressed that shaylen o'connor was able to grab on to that I'll arm tell you what, but i don't honestly, think it was enough to take the round up. i tell you what honestly i'm very impressed with shaylen o'connor right now uh, Juanita trains at the Minnesota Martial Arts Academy underneath Greg Nelson which has produced many a great fighter that have went on to the UFC Strike Force WEC Pride all the biggest organizations that have ever existed uh, currently when you think of females out of the uh, Minnesota Martial Arts Academy you think of Rose Namajunas the current UFC champion who has a fight coming up next month on November 6th, just a couple weeks from now. So for Shailene to be able to hold her own against Juanita, uh, that's really impressive to me. I don't, I really expected Juanita to be able to come out here and get the finish in the first round. Yeah, no, I'm 100%, I'm with you on that. And uh, Juanita Shingles has looked very, very strong. I think she still has the momentum going into round number three. But uh, she has still got to get past Shaylin O'Connor here, so we will continue. And, and there it is, Juanita Shingles continued to put the pressure here on Shaylin O'Connor. O'Connor doing a fantastic job of, you know, weathering the storm right now. 
uh, working out those butterflies and now looking to take control, reversing shingles up against the fence. And this could be a turning point here for Shaylin O'Connor. Dean, where she need to go here? Well, she's up against the fence now. Here she is. Um, Juanita's back in control. Going for the takedown, double leg, there it is. And she gets it, side control. Yeah, great work there. As uh, Juanita Shingles continues to dominate tonight. Honestly, Juanita's got the uh, underhook on the right arm of Juanita. I would, oh, the fight's over, there we go. Oh wow, she Juanita got the finish. Juanita Shingles gets the win. Incredible I think finish. That was a, Premature stoppage by the referee, in my opinion. Good work there. Um, we're we're going to get the official decision. Yeah, Juanita you know, Shingles continues to dominate tonight. Juanita's got the yeah, absolutely. Uh, I really um, think the right inexperience of, of the referee. I would don't. just cost uh, Shaylin O'Connor an opportunity at competing for the win. You know, tough loss there by Shaylin O'Connor. We're going to get the official decision here and see where we go. work there as uh, Juanita Shingles continues to dominate tonight. Honestly, Juanita's got the uh, underhook on the right arm of Juanita. I would, oh. Great work there as uh, Juanita Shingles continues to dominate tonight. Honestly, Juanita's got the uh, underhook on the right arm of Juanita. I would... there 